So this is big. And this is Cam. And we coming to you today from Mississippi. Ponderosa shoot. We doing a little shooting today. No. We do we're a doing little bullet science. Woo! So we watch a lot of YouTube from Paul Harrell. Um Trixie Mattel. Shh, the kill on this phone. Uh Demo Ranch. Demo Ranch to Woo! 50 Cow blowing stuff up. To um some funny videos like David Dobrik. But yeah, we, we do. <laughs> we also watch a lot of like bullet testing. Yeah, and testing like this kind of bullet, 22 bullet from that kind of 22 bullet from this other one. Who's fastest? Who does the most spread? We don't have no meat targets here. But, yeah. Um, we do have some Winchester silver tips. And um, it says on here, a uh, it'll go. 1,660 feet with a three and a half inch barrel. But we don't have a three and a half inch barrel. No. So we're going to do it with different kinds of barrels. That one's seven inches. We have this guy. We got some rifles. Um, we got 14 inch, 20 inch, 16 inch. We're going to see if the feet per second increases with the barrel length. Is bigger better? We're about to find out. But, there's only one way we can find out. And we need a chronograph. Who has one of those? It measures the distance. I don't know what it really does. We but, got a guest coming in today to the Ponderosa, y'all. Uncle Jim. From Boots and Bows Outdoors. Mm -hmm. He's going to bring his chronograph. He's got it hooked to an iPad. We're going to be able to see the ballistics and um, all the fancy and, stuff. Yeah, he, I don't really know what it does, but he knows. He knows he's a professional pellet rifle shooter. His pellet rifle costs more than the truck I drive. But. So we're going to wait for him. He'll be here in a second. Cam is going to do the shooting right now. She's going to go off, ride the buggy for a while while we get everything set up. So we will see you guys in a minute. Peace. So we back, and I got Boots and Bows Outdoors with me, a.k.a. my brother. So he's got his chronograph set up with an iPad with all kinds of fancy stuff we don't have here. But guess what he did bring? Three and a half inches. So we'll be able to test to see if the three and a half inches at 1,060 feet per second is what the label says. So we're going to see how it works. And if we can't get 1,060 out of that, we're definitely not going to get it out this little fellow here. we got like a little bitty barrel. Hopefully, we'll get it out of this. And if we don't get it out of that, we've got plenty of other ones we're going to try. So y'all just hang tight. We'll be with you in a little bit. We're about to get this thing set up and get some lead down range. Peace! So, with a little technical difficulty, a lot of technical difficulty, we're not sure what this is going on with these silver tips, but I don't think it's right. I no. don't know if the chronograph was off, or I don't know, you know, all chronographs aren't exactly equal. Right. We learned that from old Paul. Yep. Well, but these are we getting, don't know. we're getting some uh, weird, I mean, weird, weird. Anywhere numbers. from 15,000, you know. It ain't running 15,000. No. To 300. Yeah. And everywhere in between. So, are they that inconsistent? I don't think so. So, we're going to shoot some cheap ammo through the chronograph, through all these different barrels. Yeah. And then we're just going to compare, and hopefully we can get some answers. Some One of you guys might know what's going on. Because it seems like this old... This old cowboy gun here, 
actually is the most consistent with what the box says. Yep. I don't know. Y'all tell us. So we're going to put some lead down range. I'm going to get some ears on, I hope. I don't know where my ears went. My daughter took them. My daughter took them again. So let me get some ears on, and uh, we'll be back in a second. All right, so with all the technical difficulty that we had, yeah. we are going to go ahead with some Remington Golds. Old standard 550 box. Used to be able to give them like 20 bucks a box. Now I think they're like $3 million, maybe $3.5 million. I'm not sure. Yeah. People have lost their mind over 22 bullets. So we're going to shoot this. Oh, Jesus. We're going to shoot this little guy first. We've been getting numbers all over the place. We're going to see what this little Taurus has with some cheap ammo. Because the Winchester Silver Tips all over. Yeah. We get like 4 million feet per second or 14,000 or 300. Yep. But crazy, the most crazy, consistent though. is this guy. This old cowboy gun has been pretty much consistent with what it says on the box. I hope one of y'all know why. Please comment below and let us know what, if we are doing something wrong. Yep. I don't know. So we're going to put some bullets down range with this guy and see what it comes up with. We did change the battery in the chronograph. Maybe that was the issue. I don't really know. It's fancy. We're not fancy. He's fancy. He's the fancy. So let's see what we got. Three hundred and thirty one. That's wrong. This far. Out. Three eighty. Three thirty five. Three thirty four. Three thirty. All right. Just a check. clear so what did we learn from that I don't know is it 330 that's awfully that's not even BB gun I got BB guns that shoot better than that yep. something's wrong somewhere we're gonna go to this old trusty cowboy gun next so let's see what happens when we uh, when we put a few bullets down range with this guy Nine fifty seven. Wow, that's it. So see why is this six inches barrel versus three and a half inch barrel worth three hundred feet? I don't think so. Now we're gonna go to the Ruger Mark II competition a little red dot on it turn the little red dot on just for the hell of it all right we're gonna see what this guy does error 1074 1116 1100 1135 that's five rounds so, that was pretty consistent, I guess. So, from six inches to seven inches, it went up almost a hundred feet, I guess. We're going we're gonna to tally everything up and let y'all know in a minute. But now, we're going to bring out... I know y'all watched the last video where we did the build for Cam's gun. Don't y'all tell her that I'm shooting it. Because she come unglued. So we're going to try with this. This is our hog hunting gun. That's why we cut the barrel down. That way you can get through the bushes and stuff. It's still legal. We got a new trigger release, new trigger, charging handle, new vortex optic scope. We're going to see. 
how much difference a little couple inches makes. We're going to take it off of safety. Ninety-nine. All right, so that's five through through that gun. And now this is mine. It is a Ruger ten twenty-two, but it's got. It's got a 20 inch barrel on it. It ain't got all the fancy stuff that can tell you. Right? I've been having problems with this new clip. I mean, it is a BX clip, but it's clear. She wanted a clear clip. I got her a clear clip. And I've been having problems with it, to be honest with y'all. Um, I'm going to change over to a little 10-round clip, and we'll be back with you in one second. All right, so round two. I got a 10-round clip, factory Ruger clip. Got it in there. I know that there's baby cycles. Now my gun is kind of dirty, but Have enough to go by, or should I shoot it a couple more times? Could shoot it a few more times, yeah. We only got, not shoot only got one reading on that, that one clip. Well, I got we got three readings. So Take three. See what happens now. Eleven ninety nine. Twelve thirty eight. Twelve ninety three. Twelve thirteen. Twelve oh two. 
Okay. So about 1,200 feet per second. Got a spread of 97. Medium velocity of 1,221. Woo! So we're going to crunch some numbers, show you where all these guys are at, and be back in a second. So we pretty much already know that the little pistol, I don't know, something was going on. There's no way it was only shooting 300 feet per second. Yeah. I'm sweating that, that, that's a little crazy. bit. So we know that that's probably not accurate. Right. We're not shooting it again, though. We done shot it like 100 times, and it comes up with all crazy. Either it's off the chart high or off the chart low. So. Right. Um, the only thing I can say about a small 22 caliber pistol, like a backup, is uh, if you put it in where it needs to go, it's going to do its job, and that's all you need to know. Because we can't figure out why it's giving us these crazy readings. No. But the rest of the guns, let's see what happens. So it looks like we've got all the numbers crunched. Yeah, most, of them. most of them, at least. Because you can see... Looks like my uh, 20 inch barrel rifle did the best, like at 1220.8 feet per second, all the way down to it looks like that Taurus. I really don't believe it's only 343.8. And then the Taurus on the silver tip, look at that average 10,975. That's flying if you ask me. I don't know if that's really real. But it's still a cool program. Um, I do believe these numbers are a little more accurate up here. I really don't believe that Taurus is only 343. But it averages it all out for you. So, if you like this video, hopefully we can do, be a little more technical. We're just not technical people. We shoot guns and go hunting, fishing. Uh, we might be able to get this working a little bit better for y'all. We might show another video later on once we get everything dialed in. This was, uh, this was a test. He does this when he's, he's a professional air rifleman. So he uses that chronograph for competition, make sure that his pellets, I guess, are all matched and, and whatnot, the competition. Um, but if y'all like this video, please hit that notification bell. Like this video. Please leave us a comment. Let us know if we're doing something wrong, if we don't know what we're doing. Uh, that's all I can say. You got anything to add? No, not really. I'm just uh, calculating energy right now with, with the bullets we're doing it. Those numbers were correct. Right. On the Taurus, it was pitiful. 10.5. My <laughs> pellet rifle hits three times harder than that. Right. Uh, so something's not right. We're gonna figure it out. Probably post another video. Y'all have a good evening and peace out.